10 things a confident woman never does. There's nothing more beautiful than a confident woman. And there are 10 things a confident woman never does. A confident woman never, ever compares herself to others. This is one of the things that we do as trauma survivors. Our perspectives have often been so clouded that we idealize other people. We think that they are greater than we are. They're a better housekeeper. They're a better person on their jobs. They're better this. They're a better that. We always will tend to idealize others who are really no better than we are at the given specific things that we think that they excel in. Now, this is not talking about talents. And when we're talking about talents, we need to be considerate of the fact that each individual has their own place in the master plan. Each individual has their own calling. And therefore, each individual has their own specifically designed skills and abilities. When we try to compare ourselves to others with respect to, I want to have that talent, I want to have that talent, then what we're doing is neglecting who we are in that we're not embracing our unique talents. So a confident woman will not compare herself to others in any way that would cause her to self-deprecate or think that she is less. She will embrace her uniqueness, understanding that it will coincide with the uniqueness of others around her, and she's at peace with that. Number two, a confident woman never judges herself by others' opinions of her. Why is this so important? Because we will have been wounded by our past as trauma survivors. And what we will tend to do is give more credence to the negative voices that have been hammered in our head as we came through the trauma or the negative voices that we keep playing in our own heads. And so when someone else criticizes us, it's magnified by those negativities that reside inside of our heads. But a confident woman will understand that everybody got a belly button. Everybody's got an opinion. And many of those opinions will not match. And everybody's belly button is different. So, so are all of these opinions. I call it the belly button rule. Well... I really call it something else, but we're going to keep it clean here. Everybody got a belly button. Everybody got an opinion. And when we are allowing ourselves to internalize negativity that comes to us from people who don't even know us, let alone care about us, then what we're doing is magnifying the negativity that's going on in our heads. And we have to understand that just as we may have been clouded by trauma in our past, we have to understand that there are others out there who have also been traumatized and they may be looking through traumatized glasses. So I had to learn early on that I will never judge myself by somebody else's opinion of me. And a confident woman will never do that. Three. A confident woman will never allow the value of her voice to be determined by someone who devalues, denies, or refuses to listen to it. This is an offshoot of not judging yourself by someone else's opinion of you. Don't determine the value of your vo voice, which as a confident woman, you have fought hard tooth and nail to, to embrace. Don't allow the value of that to be determined by somebody else's devaluing that, not listening to that, not appreciating that. 
They, they don't get to choose the value of your voice and you have every choice as a confident woman to remove yourself from that relationship or not to allow yourself to even be subjected to that. As trauma survivors and confident women, we fought long and hard through a process of healing that brought us to a place where we finally value our voices. We have found and rediscovered the voices that have been stolen from us through trauma. So once you find that again, understanding all you had to go through in order to come to terms with that, you don't easily give that up. And you don't take too well to individuals who can't honor that. And I would like to add here, as confident women, we will never allow our voices to be shut down again. But please be prepared for the fact that that may include your having to make a decision as to who you allow in your life and who you don't. You don't have to fight with somebody to hear you. You don't have to do that. Some people are going to be capable and willing, and some people are going to be incapable or unwilling. And just as they can make that choice for themselves, you also can make a choice that, no, that, that's not working for me. A confident woman will never allow herself to be lost in a relationship. If you have at all come through any kind of trauma, you may be able to relate to as I can. That's how it was with me. I get into a relationship and then my whole focus becomes that person because I was walking around with a root of the fear of rejection. And because of that, I would completely ignore myself in that relationship, completely throw myself 100% into it, even though in most cases that was not being reciprocated to me. A confident woman will not allow that. She will maintain who she is, her own personal interest. She will stand confidently in the truth of who she is without apology, but she won't have an attitude about it. I am who I am. That don't work for you by, you know, no harm done. You know, and not holding any grudges. So a confident woman will not allow herself to be lost in a relationship with anybody. Number five, a confident woman will never ignore her intuition. If you're anything as I am, you know that the times you have ever ignored your gut feeling, you wound up in trouble because of it. And that intuition in hindsight is not going to keep you from going through that. So a confident woman will always pay attention to her intuition over anything anybody's saying to her or, or doing. So you can be in my face smiling, my guts tore up, and I got to know, huh, wait a minute, something's wrong. But this confident women will just pay attention to that intuition. And sometimes they'll do like my ex-husband used to say, throw them out there like a thoroughbred, see how they run. So in other words, give them the rope, give them the rope if you want to waste that kind of time and, and just know in your gut, wait, wait, something's wrong and I got to watch this. It, it, you either have the choice of just cutting that person out of your life if you choose to. Either way, a confident woman will never ignore her gut feeling and her intuitions in any situation. Take a moment now and hit the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell so you know when we upload. And please consider liking and sharing the video. Now let's get back to the confident woman. Number six, a confident woman knows what she wants, period. And she is not apologizing for it. This is something that it also takes a lot of healing to come to. When you fight tooth and nail through a healing process, you're not often willing to give that up. So a confident woman will know what she wants without apology. She knows what she wants. If something doesn't align with what she wants, 
She just moves on. No lecture, no emotional outburst, no putting herself in a position to be disappointed. She just knows what she wants and that's how she's walking it out. Number seven, a confident woman never ignores her values. A confident woman knows what's important to her, has prioritized those things, holds every opportunity and decision to that standard, and cuts out the riffraff because of it. So if you run across a situation, an opportunity, a decision you have to make, you should always use your personal values as the guidepost to determine whether or not you're going to take that opportunity or make that particular decision. If you stand on your top, let me give it to you like this. If you stand on your top three values, just go with the top three, whether that's family or me time or honesty or authenticity, whatever it is for you, you want to make sure that you adhere to those. They will walk you through decisions. They will walk you through relationships. If you hold everything against those top values, you will easily walk your path much more smoothly. And a confident woman never sacrifices her values for anything or anyone. Number eight, a confident woman never feels guilty about taking care of herself. In fact, she may make that one of her top values. A confident woman will know how to say no if that particular thing is going to interfere with her spiritual well-being, her mental health, or her physical well-being. Those three things are all involved in taking care of yourself. And that goes deeper than, oh, I'll take a spa day every month. You all know what I mean. You decide, oh my goodness, I can't do it today. But I'm supposed to be here, do this, do that. I need to do this chore or that chore. And you decide, nope. I'm going to go get my nails done or I'm going to get pedicure or I'm just going to veg out and do nothing. But the whole time you got guilt banging at the door, guilt, 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 guilt. And it just you guilt your way through the day to the point where you never really enjoy what you said you were going to do. But a confident woman never goes through that. I tell you what I do. I get the little guilt. I say to myself, if I let that guilt through the door right now, I'll be dealing with it all day. So I put it out of my mind and I just don't even allow myself to feel guilty. I don't care if I'm laying around here for two days doing nothing. A confident woman knows that the guilt may come, but she knows not to let it in. Number nine. A confident woman never looks to others for her happiness or her peace. Happiness and peace are internal commodities, and that has to exude from the inside. And we have to make sure as trauma survivors that we're not holding unsuspecting others in our lives accountable for what we missed growing up or as a result of trauma or neglect. We will tend to seek out relationships or get frustrated with situations in which we are triggered back to the past and feel like, nope, now I'm going to go off on you because you should know better and I'm going to make sure that you, you do what I need you to do in order to make up for the past. But a confident woman she doesn't look to others for her happiness or her peace. She understands that if she is not at peace, then she needs to make some adjustments in her own life, her own perspective, her own outer or inner circle in order to ensure that her peace and her happiness are not interrupted. She understands as a confident woman that that's in her power and in her control.
Therefore, she never gets frustrated or irritated with others or look to others to fulfill those needs. And number 10, a confident woman never settles for less than she deserves. A confident woman knows that she deserves the best. She understands that the past doesn't get to dictate her future. And she has made determinations and necessary changes in her heart, in her thinking, and in her life that ensures that she is going to seek out the very best for herself in all situations and circumstances, and she will never settle for less. Well, those are 10 things a confident woman never does, and I hope that you've got something out of this. So hit me up, click below, set up an appointment with me, and I look forward to speaking with you. There are also some other offers that are in the show notes below that you may want to take advantage of, and I'll see you there if you do choose to do that. But always remember that as a confident woman, your greatest power is realized in the truth of who you are. Know that truth. If you've gotten anything out of this video or you like the content on this channel, please consider subscribing. Join the membership that we have offered for you. Just click the join button so that you can see what we offer. And please, if you just leave a comment, it helps. Like, share the video. Thanks.